Navigating the health insurance bureaucracy can be a very frustrating and time-consuming process. It is even more of a challenge when trying to access one's mental health benefits. While it is a challenge, it can be done. To obtain coverage and maximize reimbursement for the services rendered by SUS, there are a few key items to look into. Number one, does your plan allow for out-of-network services to be covered? SUS of the Carolinas is an out-of-network provider. They will provide an invoice upon completion of the program. If your plan does allow for coverage for out-of-network providers, you should be reimbursed for their services. Number two, does your plan require pre-authorization? Most insurance plans do require mental health benefits to be pre-authorized. It is important that you check with your provider before submitting such a claim. Number three, reimbursement policy. Most insurance plans either use a percentage of Medicare or reasonable and customary to determine the reimbursement pricing policy. Those plans that do use reasonable and customary tend to allow for a higher reimbursement rate for the services rendered by SUSE of the Carolinas. And finally, group family and individual therapy rendered by SUSE of the Carolinas is rendered by licensed therapists. As such, your claim should be reimbursed to the fullest extent for those services rendered. Both prior to and upon completion of the program at SUSE, it is important to review your plan benefits and submit your claim in a timely manner. Upon submission of your claim, it is important to follow up regularly with your insurance carrier to prevent delays as well as ensure your claim gets processed effectively and efficiently. I am happy to assist any families with any questions or concerns. Please contact the Office of Admission at the SUSE of the Carolinas if you would like additional assistance. Thank you very much and best of luck.